what is not to love about tortillas? Well, tortillas and all of their cousin flatbreads are the perfect vehicles for wrapping or scooping up delicious meals from around the world, with many healthy varieties available right here in our local markets. Registered dietitian, certified diabetes educator, and host of Yavapai Regional Medical Center's Your Healthy Kitchen joins us. Rita Rubin, great to have you on with Sandy. us today. Good okay, to be so here. where do we start to make healthy and easy Tortilla wraps. Tortilla wraps. So We're going to wrap it up. There are so many. I spent like an hour the other day going through the different stores, and um, there's just so many to choose from. Um, but there's some simple things to look for on the labels. So some clues that tell you they're a little healthier. Yeah, yeah, because um, you know we were kind of talking about gluten free and all this kind of stuff, and I, I have to admit I don't really understand that a whole yeah. lot. So when we do look at the label, like you, you know, what what are we looking, are we for? looking for? So one thing I always look for is the word the word whole. So this is whole spelt or whole wheat. Sounds like a fish. It, spelt. <laughs> it does. Oh, that's a smelt. <laughs> yes, yes. It's really it's a grain. It's related to wheat, but okay. but if you look for whole, um, okay. whole weed, whole spelled. Um, that means at least you get the whole grain. And, and so even it's not like over processed or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's processed. That means you get the um, the fiber with the grain. You get all the vitamins and the nutrients that come with it. So that's one thing to oh, look for. Okay. Um, if you look at the ingredients. Um, Looking at the first ingredient, like this one, it says um, ground fine whole wheat flour. Oh, okay. So and, and that's going to be the predominant one. Yeah, then. that's the thing that okay. is the first ingredient is the thing that there is the most of. So that's another thing to look at. Um, one of the things I check out quite often is also the number of ingredients. Because sometimes oh. there's a really big list. And that's not good? Well, necessarily not good, but there's a chance for more additives and preservatives and stuff, with some, which some All can... All the nasty stuff. Yeah, yes. And maybe you don't yep. need it, because when you make tortillas at home, let's say, yeah. you use flour, water... Flour, water, salt. Okay. That's it. Dang. That's, that's what this one is. Flour, water, salt, and yeast. Um, whereas some of these, like this, this is a huge... Um, list and there's probably a lot of things that you don't recognize or can't pronounce. And, and if you don't, it might be one of those things that's maybe not so good. You're not sure. Yeah, there's you a know. few few additives and okay. tortillas that can be um, people can have intolerances to. So. Oh uh, wow! And this is like flat out multi-grain with flax. Yeah, it just sounds so good. The multi-grain is that. Good too to have more than one uh, yeah. of your major grain. Family, it can be. Think, it or? can be. And again, okay. looking at the first ingredient and seeing if it says whole grain first. That's what you want. Um, now, does that mean fiber as well? You get more fiber when you get when you like that mm -hmm. whole word. Sure. Yep. Okay. Yep. Usually, have more fiber, and that helps specifically because you know I work with a lot of folks with diabetes, oh, and nice. um, if you have the whole grains, it's a higher fiber product. They will raise your blood sugars less. So that's really, oh, you know, it's really helpful, okay. helpful there. And uh, that guy is a is a gluten free one. I it's have to say, good. I love this because I love almonds, yeah. and this is almond flour. Really good. They, yeah. yeah, that brand is really excellent, and they're they're freshly made. You find them in the frozen section in the grocery store, and um, to make them, you have to heat them up in a skillet. And oh, so okay. They're, they're Which, like, oh, you know, really that you're real, you know, like. Um, our uh, Mexican folks, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, they say, what? You're not going to like put this in a skillet and brown it up nice because they actually know how good tortillas oh, are. And fresh made are the best. Yeah. They are the best. And I've got to admit, I am terrible at making My mother in law is amazing. Flatbreads. Hey, listen, we're going to take a break. <laughs> we're, we've, you know, we're going to learn more about tortillas and how to make up great wraps. So we're going to be back with great. Rita Rubin in just a minute. So you stay with us. All right, so we are back with Your Healthy Kitchen, Rita Rubin, Yavapai Regional Medical Center, how to make really healthy food, and we're talking about wrapping with tortillas. Now, we've learned something about tortillas with Rita, so now how do we, okay, so, because these aren't just fun like that, yeah. so how do you wrap these up to make them really fun and nutritious? It's, and Right, you have to dress them up a bit, don't you? Yes, Well, absolutely. you know, I mean, wraps can be just used as utensils. I mean, they're used that way around the world. Yeah, as a scoop and things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. in India, you know, they use naan or roti, or in Mexico, tortillas, you know, just, you know, and, can eat just as a yeah, chips are almost like tortillas, but yeah, yes, yeah. okay. Yeah, or to make a sandwich, I, um. This one is cracking me up, this, like, rectangular this, thing. Yeah. yeah. This is my favorite out there. This is a Trader oh, Joe's. A lavash. Um, lavash. Lavash. Okay. So that's um, originally from, I think, Armenia. Okay. But, um, also Persia or Iran. So um, these are just, like, ethnically across the world. Mm -hmm. We've, uh, all of our ancestors yeah. are bringing some kind of tortilla to Everybody's us. Everybody's got a flat <laughs> Um, okay. So for my, I have a kind of a, a recipe for building a good wrap, and I think one thing to start with is a sauce, say, because you need some moisture in yes. there. Yes, sometimes I just like the sauces by themselves. Yes, bread is an excuse are. to have a sauce. Absolutely, and so um, <laughs> I did all convenient stuff today, and these are all okay. these all happen to be from Trader Joe's, but um, this is tzatziki, which I think I'm going to use now. It sounds um, like it could be Armenian. Oh my gosh, tzatziki. look at this! It's it's actually I think it's Greek. Um, originally, and it's so a, like a yogurt mm -hmm. type thing. Yep, it's a sauce with yogurt and garlic and cucumber. Okay. Um, sometimes dill, sometimes mint, a um, little salt. It's really easy. That looks delicious. It, you could eat that I straight. Could that you? Too. Isn't that good? Oh yes. Uh, it's really easy to make, but Trader Joe's makes a really good one. Um, and uh, or uh, lots of times I'll put hummus. Which is a really oh, and nice they have different kinds of hummus as well. Oh yeah, there's so tons. You can choose like the flavor you yeah. like. But all, yeah, uh -huh. um, another good one is tapenade, which is olive. Oh like yes, olive spread. those are always phenomenal. Is this that's a just basil. Well? That's um, basil, pesto. Basil, pesto. So, um, so well, some sort of sauce. for sauce. Yeah. Okay. So you want some moisture, and then um, some sort of protein. So you could put your favorite protein on your app. You know, it could be chicken or turkey or fish. I happened to do some grilled tofu. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it looks delicious. It looks like chicken or fish. It does, it does. <laughs> a little uh, little rare grilled tofu steak here. Um, <laughs> tofu steak. <laughs> um, and tofu is really... It's the kind and friendly meat. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's really good grilled. I put a little spice okay. rub on it. It's oregano and salt and pepper and a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, and, uh, with all Delicious. olive oil and throw it on the grill and it's really good. Um, and then some veggies. So um, I chopped up some black, uh, black pepper, uh, red pepper. And, okay. Um, oh, it looks so beautiful too. It is pretty. And the onions, I can smell the I onions. Know. I mean, it smells are, like onions. Yes, indeed. Um, but and also chopping chopping them up small um, really helps to um, make the eating eating the wrap a little more pleasant. Okay. Because if you know, you got this big old hunk of oh, vegetable yeah. in your mouth, it's hard to. Uh, I agree. All right. <laughs> and then you put and your greens, greens on. This is and then you wrap it up. Yeah, that's it. That's I it. I love it. Okay. Easy so formula. Th yeah, this is neat. Now you have. <laughs> All this kind of stuff and more on your website and your Facebook. Where is that? Rita? So our website is um, at yrmchealthconnect.org, and um, and if you go to that that's that page and scroll down, you'll go to uh, look for your healthy kitchen. And okay. Just click on that, and there's tons of videos and recipes, um, and then you can also follow me on right. Facebook and see what I am making at home. And that's yes, Rita yeah. on Facebook because yeah. she's a really good cook, and this looks absolutely delicious. We open. wrapped it up with tortillas. Wrapped it Thank up. Thank you, Rita. Yeah, mm, yeah, this is a healthy kitchen. <laughs> All right, then don't you go away because more fun's coming up right here. Arizona Daily Mix.